different types of process variables. The major process variables which we are dealing are flow, pressure, temperature and level. Okay, this is uh, a flow measuring sensor plus a transmitter. This is a major type of flow measuring sensor. This is a turbine flow meter. Uh, and its basic working will be based on the type of flow. Basically, we know that there are three types of flow. First one is laminar flow, turbulent flow, and transitional flow. Flow will be classified based on this Reynolds number. So, here we are using this type of turbine flow meter uh, for the purpose of measuring turbulent flow flow. In case of the turbulent flow, we all know that it will be very uh, complicated. This turbine flow meter is a quantity flow meter. So, here we are measuring. Uh, our turbulent flow based on the turbine principle. Here we are having, uh, if you are looking into this one, here we, are, we have provided so many pipelines. These pipelines will be providing a straight flow because in case of this transitional flow, if the flow is directly entering into the turbine means we are not able to get the correct flow rate. So for measuring the correct flow rate, first, first of all we are providing the flow uh, to properly flow through these straight lines so that uh, for that we are providing here the pipelines here. In both the sides, we are providing the same, the same pipelines for providing a straight flow for this uh, flow, flow line. So, uh, first of all, we are installing this turbine flow meter to a pipeline, and uh, this will be its inlet side and this will be its outlet side. So, the flow, uh, first of all, the flow will be entering into this turbine flow meter. The turbine will start rotating. And this rotation of this turbine will be picked up by our magnetic pickup which is installed inside this one. So the output of this magnetic pickup will be directly proportional or we are calibrating that ma magnetic pickup rating to the flow rate. As the flow increases, the reading, uh, reading in the magnetic pickup will also be increased. And this is the sensor section. Uh, here we will be installing our magnetic pickup and inside this one we are providing our turbine. So this is a turbine flow meter. This is our transmitter section. Here we are having an electronic transmitter. We all know that the transmitter, electronic transmitter output range will be 4 to 20 milliamps. Uh, we are actually we are using this tra transmitter for the purpose of uh, conditioning our signal or input signal, or else um, we are transmitting this signal actually to the controller. So our controller will be able to uh, identify only a standard rating. So for that purpose only we are using this type of transmitter. There are so many type, different types of transmitters we are using. First one is pneumatic transmitter, electronic transmitter as well as digital transmitter. This pneumatic transmitter it will uh, work based on the air supply and the output range, range will be 3 to 15 psi. Here it, uh, this, this one is an electronic transmitter and uh, inside this one uh, so many electronic circuitries will be there. Based on this electronic unit solely, we are calibrating our uh, flow rate to a particular range of value. That means 4 to 20 milliamps. Okay, for this, uh, we will be have we, we need to have a 4, 24 volt DC supply or else a 110 volt supply. So the supply will be given by this side through to our uh, transmitter section, and from this transmitter section, the our uh, input signal will be conditioned and it will be calibrated to a uh, particular range that will be 4 to 20 milliamps. So uh, by using this section, uh, this is our transmitter section, by using this section only we are able to get a conditioned signal or else uh, a calibration.